Hello everybody, Molot here, and happy Independence Day. Yes, it is the 4th of July here in the United States, uh, so if you're in the States, um, celebrate safely. Do not buy any cheap fireworks that are going to blow off your hands. Um, if you're in Canada, it's just another day. Enjoy your work day. I'm sorry, it's just a Thursday. Uh, but today, I have something that may blow up in my face. Speaking of fireworks, I was cleaning out a box and I found, uh, it was in my basement, and I found just absolute random garbage that I had no idea I was saving. 91 Tops Baseball. Still has the gum in it. Wrapper's a little flimsy. I have no idea why I saved that. 91, 92 Panini Stickers. So we'll open those up. And then these were McDonald's giveaways. Uh, 92, like the 100th anniversary for the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, all-time team. Same with the Blues. They are limited edition. Um, these things are old. And then uh, an NBA fantasy pack. I honestly, I must have eaten a lot of McDonald's back in the day and saved these things up. But um, I'm curious to find out what's in them for being as old as they are. So I honestly don't even remember the packs. Um, I'll start with this. This is absolutely overprinted into oblivion. 91 tops. There's still gum in here. I would not recommend that anyone eat the gum. Um, the wrapper itself just kind of falls apart or opens up. That's, I might save the wrapper. That'd be cool. There's a piece of gum. Um, absolutely nothing of value in this thing. I guarantee it. Um, but here we go. I won't know any of these guys. Tommy Green, Mark Lee, Drew Hall, oh, Jack Morris. I do know him. Um, ooh, a rookie card of Carl Everett. Not the Olympic guy, I don't think. Uh, Julio Mensado, don't know him. Brett Butler, I do know that name. Uh, Turner Ward with a big old thing of dip in his pocket. You'd never see that in today's game. Um, instant win game, yay. Uh, Keith Miller. Fernando Valenzuela, I do know him. Hall of Famer, I believe. Uh, Doug Jones. Jose Offerman, uh, future stars. Uh, well, this might actually be a rookie card of Jose Offerman. Um, it's completely blurry, and I know these cards were printed again into, into oblivion, probably over a billion of those, so still pretty cool. Jose Offerman, a name I know, and it's a rookie card, so we'll just set that aside. I'm sure it's worth like five cents. Scott Fletcher, Robbie Thompson, and Chris Basso. All right, well, that was fun. Let's try 91-92 Panini Hockey Stickers. And away we go. We got Step on My Toe, Step on My Toe. Um, Chris Chelios All-Star, Doug Lidster, a Cliff Ronning, um, Thomas Stern, uh, uh, Thomas Steen rather, Alex Steen's father, who was a uh, huge in uh, Winnipeg. And then Glenn Anderson for the Oilers. That's cool. I'll give these stickers to my daughter and she can put them all over the place where she's not supposed to put them. These packs are literally just falling open. They are so old. Uh, we got a Joe Riki. I'm gonna pull it forward a little bit so you can see it. Ray Ferraro Chicken Parm himself. Uh, Adam Creighton. Steve Casper. Ronnie Wilson for the Blues. And then in, in Tali Semenov, don't know him. Um, games played 57 goals and eh, 31 points in 57 games. That's a decent pace. Even back in the 90s when everyone was scoring. All right, final pack of these stupid little stickers. We got Rick Green. Ooh, all-star game of Chicago. That's cool. Oh, Mario Lemieux, I do know him. Ray Bork, another Hall of Famer. Uh, Mark o Osborne, not a Hall of Famer. And then Bobby Basson. This guy was a uh, was a tough guy. He was the enforcer for the Blues back in the 90s. That's decent. I like that. All right, let's start with the limited edition baseball for the 100th year anniversary of the Cardinals. Again, I have no idea what's in this. Oh, made by Pacific, of all people. So you know there's value in these packs. Holy. Let's take a look. We got a checklist. I think that's in every one of them. And we got something upside down. Uh, Kurt Flood, Orlando Cespeda, Julian Javier, 
Al Herboski, the mad Hungarian TV guy now. Bobby Gibson, that guy is a Hall of Famer. Lou Brock, Hall of Famer. Bob Forsh. Stan the Man, that's a cool card, I like that. Obviously Hall of Famer. Bill White. Tim McCarver, TV broadcaster, and not really that good at it, if you ask me. And then Ted Simmons. Those cards are pretty cool. I forgot what they look like. All right, let's try it again here. Yep, another checklist, so. Oh, we're upside down. We got Whitey, Whitey Herzog. Uh, Pepper Martin. Uh, Mort Cooper. Al Herboski again. Uh, Joe Cunningham. Tommy Herr. Terry Moore. Grover Cleveland Alexander, not the president. Tim McCarver again. Reggie Smith, and then Joe Torrey, more famous for being the Yankees manager. This is what the back of them look like. Sorry, I forgot to show you. Got a little picture, different picture on the back. Um, oh, look at the mustache on Mr. Roboski. So, but yeah, still pretty cool. Probably worth absolutely nothing, but they're fun. All right, let's just go ahead and get this NBA fantasy pack out of the way. I think there's like two cards in here. And you're going to bend the card just trying to get it open. Let's see here. This is an Upper Deck product. So we got Horace Grant. Look at those goggles. What is he, welding? And some guy that I don't know. Dan somebody. Oh, and then Patrick Ewing. I do know him. Again, being a McDonald's exclusive card, I don't think it's worth anything, especially with him being this far into his career at this point. Um, eh, seven years, it's not bad. Well, that was cool. I don't know, again, why, I don't know why I was saving these things. but uh, Limited edition blues. Let's see what holds true for this. Is this an Upper Deck product? It is, a 93 Upper Deck product. Should be all blues, obviously, being the greatest all-time greats. There's Mike Liute, Glenn Hall, Mr. Goalie. We got Blake Dunlop. He's still in St. Louis. You run into him every once in a while. Rob Ramage. Backwards Jacques Plante. Pretty cool goaltender card so far. I like that picture. That's really cool. And then Adam Oates. And that's what the back of them look like. So, well, you saw it with the Glenn Hall. Pretty cool. All right, final pack of just that stuff to, that was just taking up space in my basement. Um, let's see here. Well, look at this. Two Doug Gilmores right in a row. That's horrible. Way to go, Upper Deck. Uh, Gary Saborn. Doug Gilmore. Let me guess. It's Doug Gilmore. It is. And then Cujo, Curtis Joseph. This one's upside down. Scott Stevens. This guy was a heavy hitter. Heavy hitter. Uh, some people would even say dirty at times, but it is what it is. And then a Glenn Hall again, so awesome. Well, um, again, nothing really spectacular, just packs that I found laying around in my basement when I was cleaning something out. So um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, um, happy 4th of July, Independence Day. Um, be safe out there, guys, and we will catch you on the next one.